Hello there, YouTubers. What we have right here is a stack of cardboard circuit boards. I made these many, many years ago. I think the newest one of the bunch is from early 2008. Let's take a bit of a closer look. This is literally just a piece of cardboard and I used to draw the schematic onto the top plus some, uh, some extras, as we're gonna see. And then I would uh, make holes for all the components to go through. And I'd solder everything together on the bottom using uh, mostly the uh, leads from the components and sometimes pieces of extra wire. So what we have right here is, uh, you can already read it, a level indicator. There is a signal strength potentiometer at the input. This would uh, get its input from the speaker output of an amplifier. We then have a little capacitor, We've got a rectifier made up from uh, two germanium diodes, old school glass diodes, and then we got a capacitor at the output. And as you can clearly see, I was recycling components for this. Uh, these are all quite old. And then, of course, this would feed out to, a, to an analog uh, little meter, like you'd find in old cassette decks. Next up, we have the exact same thing, except this one is in stereo, as it uh, proudly says up there. <laughs> yeah. So, once again, uh, same circuit, except, of course, now it's all there twice. We got two signal strength settings, got capacitors, rectifier, output capacitors. Yellow leads would go out to a stereo, to a set of two meters, analog meters. The green wires, obviously, would come from the speaker outputs. This uh, was inside of an amplifier that I built using parts from an old compact stereo. That amplifier was pretty powerful, and in fact, it was way too powerful for this little circuit. You can still see the um, potentiometers are turned up to maximum resistance. And, well, I once turned the loudness up a little bit too high on that power amp, and this adjustment right here, you can kind of see, it actually caught fire. And that kind of, uh, that's, that's of course uh, the biggest disadvantage of uh, this uh, method of uh, building circuits. <laughs> if, any, if anything catches fire, this is going to burn really well. You can kind of see how uh, all the solder joints, the cardboard is just colored right there. I think that's actually uh, from the flux. I don't think that's actually burned. And here we have yet another. This is another VU meter. This is out of the era where I totally couldn't get anything related to transistors to work when I was building circuits from scratch. So this is my attempt at building a, a digital, like, you know, with LEDs, a digital VU meter without using any transistors. So let's take a look at this. We got uh, the input wires, inputs over here. Then goes into a resistor, into a diode rectifier and a little capacitor. Then resistor right here, which is kind of ripped out as you can see. You can see how I did that. I actually wrote the, uh, the value of the components down as well. And then we just have an array of uh, resistors. And in between each one is an LED. And this didn't work. Uh, I think what it did was, as soon as the input voltage surpassed the, uh, uh, how do you call it? You know, the minimum voltage of the diode, those 0.7 volts or whatever, uh, the whole thing just went on and the LEDs just had various different uh, brightness uh, levels. So, I mean, that's really, that's what this would do. You know, you just got a bunch of resistors and uh, the further down you are, the less voltage is going to be there for the LED to light up. And that's that. And this is the newest circuit, as far as I can tell. As you can see, it says 2008 on there. This was a, uh, I actually wrote TBA. This is supposed to be TDA. Uh, this was for a TDA-2030A amplifier. What I did was I just copied 
the printed circuit board layout from the data sheet to this piece of cardboard. I just replaced all the, uh, the surfaces of, uh, of copper with single lines. And I kind of started uh, putting all the components into here, as you can see. I didn't get very far. None of this is soldered, so I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out all of this again and put it back into the parts bin. But yeah, there you have it. Some uh, cardboard circuit boards. Thank you for watching.